Welcome to the masterclass in poor part making. Methods as it come down <laughs> if I from our forefathers <laughs> and being passed from, on to the next generation. <laughs> So we're going to make some stock. We've got two pound of bones, pork bones. We've got two pig strutters split. We've got an onion. We've got a carrot, a bit of thyme, a bit of sage, a few peppercorns, and then just fill it up with water. Bring that to the boil. Turn it down. Simmer for three hours. There's a bit of fat that I consider good okay. and these are the bits I consider yes, either right too much kind of... or rubbish. This is what I consider rubbish on the pool. Bits like that. that, that the, um... See, I don't like adding the pork pie because it doesn't render down. Put all that in yeah. your stock to yeah. get all the trimmings. Right, that's a good idea. So, mm. str any, any stringy bits that you know you think you're going to mm. chew on it, you, you wouldn't like in your mouth, so I'll, I'll get rid of those. And then we just... So no wonder it takes so long. Dice it oh, all yeah. up. Here's, here's another bit of sage to show you that... A little bit like that. I don't fancy that in your mouth. Sure. So, I'll get rid of that. If you, if you lean on it with your nails like that, it usually comes away and you can take it off like that. I've done caramelised onions. There you go in. A bit of oil. Onions, there's about two onions there. Cut them up, put them in the oil. Fry them off, keep your eye on them, keep stirring. And then gradually, gradually go like that. We just do uh, an apple. to the pound of fresh seeds, so that's one and a half because it's dried seeds. A little bit more because I like see. A bit of corn. I'm going to put cayenne in. For this Guys, exercise, we're going to use anchovy sauce. So, all you've got to do now is just mix that up, give it a little stir, and leave it to rest, mature. All the trimmings off the pork into there. We've got a quarter pint of milk and a quarter pint of water. In the olden days, before the invention of skim milk, I should make it full fat, so we're on skim. Added to that, we've got six ounces of lard. Would you believe that? You know, Weight Watchers can ban on things like this. What do Weight Watchers think about you making these pork pies? Oh, well. You don't tell me. I suppose if the taste is one of the changes of mine. Yeah, it's like everything, you know, if you have a slice of pork pie, it's worth ten points. And that's ten points allowance for the day. Click on that. And you do something else for the rest of the day. Do you think it would be about ten points? Well, <laughs> yes, that's such a thing. I'll, I'll have to get out of here. It's all 18 points in one, in one slice of pork pie. I don't know, I know. Then we pour that in here. And we start to. You notice the professional way you use the handle. I like it. <laughs> it didn't get bogged down the other end, you see. No, yeah, that's true, true it does. does. It just comes up. Um, yeah.
this is hot, hot, hot. You know, hardly touch it. But you've got to knead it. Now you can see how it's all come together, and all of a sudden now you've got to be. Yeah, yeah. Wallop. As you say, putty like. <laughs> yeah. So you need it for how long? Have a look, keep your eye on it and see if you see any flecks or anything like that, you know, a bit of flour that you missed or anything. So that's about it. Just leave that now. Cover it over, wait till it goes cool. Wrap it in cling film, double wrapped, air tight. Slap it in the fridge for 24 hours. Take it out overnight, let it come back to room temperature. Pastry prepared earlier. So we want roughly two thirds for that and a third for the, uh, the lid. So put that one for the side. Very rusty. Now what we've got to do is get that in there. Do it like that than rolling it. Well, rolling it, you get seams up it. Because yeah. when you roll it out like that and then you put it back in there, it all comes together. And, yeah, so I, I manipulate it in this manner. And I just drop it in the tin and work it round. We're about to get in there. You have to try and keep pushing it back into the corners. Roughly. You leave the edges like that. Leave them rough for a start. Yeah. We don't have mince. Pork oh, no. in a pork pie. No. These that you buy are like a no. brick. So it's all diced. Two pound of shoulder, a pound of belly, mixed together with sage, onion, and apple in this one. This time we do need the rolling pin. Oh, yeah. yeah. So a little bit of flour. Hopefully stop it sticky. A little bit on the rolling pin makes all the difference. Now with a bit of love, that should fit on there. Yeah. Alright. And then just to Switch on your further. Nothing too precise. And that goes on there. But before you do that, you have to do this. Now we just do a bit of this. Now I do like to make a ridge because if it does overflow, it's got nowhere to go. And if it gets in between there and the pie, you know, have a hell of a job getting it down. So I've got my little dam there in case it leaks when it boils up.
we do it at 15 minutes at about 180 and then we do um, about another couple of hours at uh, 170. That, that is with the fan. That's with the fan? Yeah, but I, keep, I bring it out and, and check it. Turn yeah. the oven down and put a cover over the top to stop it burning. Or foil. Foil, yeah. But then the technique yeah. later on is bring it out yeah. when, it's, when you finally cooked it and you're happy with it and then uh, egg wash it put it back in for another 10 minutes and that's when you get your nice brown yes. in. After the pies come out, do you put the stock in? You can cool it down for 20 minutes. Or well, you just heated the stock up on the stove? Yeah. That's all going to contract now. So about every 10 minutes, that'll go juice. You have to keep filling it up. If I use that mixer on here and try to work it up the side and then take it out, that and the mixture is just going to collapse. So you want a much stiffer mixer when you're making with it in dollies. Yeah. And what I do is half a pound of meat, half a pound of pastry, and then I work it up the dolly. You see people in the old fashioned way, you know, they're working it up the dolly like that. Well, I use gravity and turn it over and press it down. One trick I have found, because I have great difficulty getting it off the dolly, is if you put one of these on. Plastic bag? Yeah. A plastic, yeah. Bit of cling film. Yeah. Like that. And then you just do that and do that. And it just comes. Your dolly comes out and leaves you with that in your pastry, and then you just take that out of the pastry, and there it is. That's good. It yes. Is. Yeah. When it's nice and cold and you want to get it out there, and you know you've got a mm. oh, yeah, dummy base, yeah. Yeah, that's easier, you can right? drop it on there and then start working it and then try and get it down. And then if it does stick, just slowly ease. Yeah. But with, with the cooking, that comes away from the tip. 
but if it overspills and the fat gets between the two, that's when it locks up. Mm -hmm. it's, we've had some fun, but Anne's a master again out of a tin. Is uh, she? Yes. Really? Yeah. She's got patience. She's marvellous at putting paper on ceilings. She's not going to for a few years now. Yeah. Uh, and getting four guys out of tins. <laughs> four guys out of tins and, you know. So that's why you I just talk to my now and say, yeah, you know, get it out. <laughs>